Hey guys, today I will show you how to make a possible taxidermy head of an undead unicorn. I will make a white unicorn and another one black. For those adults, I use my resin unicorn skull. The jaws are movable and the horn is removable. You can buy one on my Etsy store, the link is in the description. I start by enlarging the base of the head with epoxy cut. It will help to glue the fabric on the head. I then drill a large hole on the base where I will later put the plastic armature. I continue with the ears, using a piece of metal wire and sculpting the structure with epoxy putty. I put some back and bone on it and cover everything with polymer clay. I apply a light fur texture and bake them. I place the hair on the head without glue and glue the plastic armature in the hole. I finish the head by putting epoxy putty under the ears. I continue with the chest of the unicorns. I use aluminum foil for the base and sculpt it with polymer clay. Once I'm happy with the general form, I apply light details. Everything is sculpted. I continue with the painting. I start by painting the skull with an ivory color. I apply a wash of light brown paint to edge the skull and add some shadows. I apply white paint with a dry brush technique for the highlights. I paint the teeth with a light ivory color, use some brown for the shadows and white for the highlights. I continue with the ears. For the black unicorn, I paint them black and use a lighter grey for the highlights. For the white unicorn, I paint the ears with a light grey and use white for the highlights. I then paint the horns. For the black unicorn, I paint it brown, use dark brown for the shadows and a lighter one for the highlights. I finish it with some copper mica powder. For the white unicorn, I paint the horn beige and put brown shadows and a lighter beige for the highlights. I finish it with some gold mica powder. I seal everything with two coats of varnish, finishing with a matte varnish for the skull and a satin varnish for the teeth and the horns. I glue the armature of the head on the base with hot glue. Because the head is quite heavy, I reinforce the plastic armature with the wire that I wrap around it. That way it makes it stronger while remaining flexible.
I secure the wire on the base with hot glue. I continue by wrapping quilt batting around the armature to bulk the neck. I then wrap a thread around it to make the form tighter. I cut some wool yarn and glue the strings on a piece of felt with Fabri-Tec. I continue with the neck. I use a pattern and place it on the fabric. The arrow indicates the direction of the fur. I trace around the pattern, making sure to leave some fabric at both extremities. I cut the piece and do the same thing with the other one. I take the two mirrored pieces and put them together, the fur on the inside and the man also inside. I then sew everything together. I glue the fabric on the base, starting at the top and going down, and then cut the excess. I then sew the fabric on the neck using the ladder stitch. I glue the fabric at the base of the skull and add some string of yarn to finish the mane. I glue a piece of fabric on the top of the head, leaving a hole for the horn. I 
I continue with the wood base. I use wood stain and varnish it. I put some green tape to help put the unicorn at the right place and glue it without glue. I cut the yarn and unravel the strings to finish the mane. And they are both finished. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you for the next project. Bye bye!